I'm here today. It's a real honour for me to be here today. The reason why I'm here today is because your, uh, the people who've organised this thought it'd be really good for you fabulous young people to get a, an up-close and personal peek at what real failure looks like. So give it up, please. Ladies and gentlemen, middle-aged failure. Come on! Yes. Not just any old failure. Celebrity failure, that's failure with knobs on. When you fail as a celebrity, <laughs> they write it up in confidential and people point at you and laugh. But I don't feel bad about it because I've been failing all of my life and looking at you. The reason why you guys are here is because you have got potential. You're prepared to back yourself and I guarantee all of you, if you give it a nudge over your lives, you're gonna fail, right? So I kind of want to tell you today I want to try and give you three reasons why you should never, ever, ever fear failure. And I am an expert, I can tell you that, but I'm in good company. Uh, Albert Einstein, failure. Didn't speak until he was four, couldn't read until he was seven. Imagine how embarrassing that would have been at kindy pickup for his parents, you know? Probably had that wild hair going on as well. J.K. Rowling, right? Probably the world's most successful author was, uh, sitting in a cafe in Edinburgh writing her books, creating those wonderful Harry Potter books because she couldn't afford the heating at home. Recently divorced and depressed. Nick Minnie, $500 million in the bank and 10 points to Gryffindor. Fantastic. <laughs> yes! You're slithering clearly, aren't you, sir? Yeah. No. Michael Jordan, probably one of the greatest basketballers ever to lace up a pair of Nikes, couldn't actually make it into his school basketball team because he had a lack of talent. And just flying down today, I was in the Qantas Lounge up in Sydney, and who should be there? Michael Clark, Pop Clark, one of the most prodigious talents with a bat ever, just coming off the back of two awful, awful defeats against Pakistan. So everyone, no matter how successful they are, will go through failure. And you can't be scared of it. You've got to love it. Thank you.